If you've been in the wedding or event industry for any amount of time, you know how difficult and frustrating and sometimes infuriating it is to deal with unreasonable people or people who are upset or people who are trying to get money back or people who just need to be right and they need someone to blame. And you are at the other end of that. Oftentimes as wedding or event pros, we get very upset and frustrated ourselves because the work that we are doing is very personal. It's something that we're passionate about. It's something that we care about. And when our clients are attacking us and and you know, in many cases, wanting money back, right? It doesn't feel good. Today's topic is going to be how do you handle upset clients and customers? And how do you create a winning scenario out of something that can otherwise be really, really negative and damage your business, your public reputation on review sites, and just overall be a bad situation, not only for you, but also for them. There is no easy way to deal with upset guests or clients. And I know firsthand, I've been through so many different experiences where someone is upset and maybe even they're upset about something that I can't do anything about or I have no control over. And it always though falls back to me because this person is looking for someone to blame. You know, they're looking for someone to take responsibility and to own the problem and to solve the problem. And so as business owners, you know, we are in crisis mode, crisis management mode, I should say, so many times and it's important to know how to deal with that. And so we're gonna to talk today about how do you handle an upset guest or client and how do you create a good scenario out of it? A scenario that leaves them happy and you happy with the outcome. Well, one of the number one tips that I like to tell my team and one of the things that I use quite frequently is to match the level of intensity or energy, even if that's negative, that the other person has, that the person who is upset has. And I know that it may not seem the best thing to do to be emotional and respond with emotion, but you have to understand the people who are coming at you with these accusations maybe, or these claims or these different things, and maybe they want refunds or they want different issues, they are right in their minds. They are absolutely certain that you messed up, you failed, you dropped the ball, and they need someone to blame and they need someone to point their frustration and anger at. And so if you bring yourself up to their level of frustration and upset and you say, oh my goodness, I can't believe this happened. This is terrible. This is bad. We need to find a way to solve it. And you basically get intense yourself and you say, hey, I am not about this. I do not want our company to have served you like this. It really pains me to hear that this happened. How can we make this right? Now all of a sudden what you do is instead of immediately positioning yourself and distancing yourself from the client and acting like, oh no, 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 we can't do that. Oh no, 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 I don't think that happened. No, no, no. And being defensive. Now all of a sudden you're matching their energy, which makes them feel like you're listening to them and makes them feel like you're hearing them. And now positions the two of you together, you and the client who's upset are going to solve this problem together. You take the weight and the burden of the problem off of yourself and kind of throw it out there and address with the client how you're going to deal with it together, how you're going to solve it together. And you need to let them know that you're going to do everything in your power to solve this issue for them because you care about them. When the client feels like that, they absolutely, and in my experience, pretty much every single time have de-escalated. They have come down, they have relaxed a little bit and they've said, okay, you know, I'm, I'm definitely upset, but you know, I guess it's not that big of a deal. You know, let me see what can we work out. And a lot of times people do want money back or they want free things or they want other stuff. You have to decide what you're willing to part with and what negotiation you're willing to make. And you're going to have to give a little bit, but they're probably going to have to give a little bit as well. And you're going to come up with a great solution that makes both of you happy. The other thing that I like to think about is during these scenarios where there's something wrong, this is an area that you can shine. This is an area where you can set yourself apart from your competition and other people in your industry by being a true professional and keeping your cool, thinking logically, even though the other person isn't thinking logically, and just understand that they're responding out of emotion, they're responding out of hurt or upset, and maybe there are other things that are happening in their ecosystem that you don't know about that are causing them to be really elevated as a result of this. And so if you don't take it personally, and if you look for the best outcome, and you understand what's on the table and what can you give to them and how can you solve it, you're actually able to come out with an amazing solution that for them, might be a total win. They might be so impressed with how you handled something that maybe they weren't gonna give you a great review before, and certainly while they were upset, they were gonna give you a horrible review, but the way that you handled it was so gracious, was so kind, you came up with such a good solution for them that they felt 
obliged to actually write a review for you and say, hey, this thing happened, but the way that they turned it around was so incredible that I loved it and I would recommend them to my friends and family. And that's happened to me several times. But what you have to do is you have to make sure that you truly are being genuine and you're actually looking out for the best interests of the clients and you're putting yourself in your shoes and showing some empathy. And when you're doing this, you are just positioning yourself in a completely different way that allows the client to get on your team and not treat you like the villain, which is something that I think all of us would want. So anyway, I'm curious if any of you have encountered an environment like this how have you handled it is there something that you've done that has been really effective in you know de-escalating the scenario and coming up with a positive result and have you used any of the tips that i just listed out if you have let me know in the comments below and we'll see you in the next video